Okay guys, so I've got a banger for you in this video. We're taking a look at a much younger Nonito Donaire from the Philippines take on the current IBF and IBO World Flyweight Champion Victor Chinian from Armenia. The stage was set in Bridgeport, Connecticut, USA. This was the first of their two meetings in the pro ranks. Nonito's brother had actually fought Darchinian two fights prior and as his brother suffered a defeat, Nonito was looking to teach Darchinian a lesson and even up the score. Let's take a closer look at what transpired during their 12 round flyweight championship fight. Ok thoughts and opinions at the end, let's get straight into the action. Nonito. Ok gentlemen you receive your instructions in the dressing room. The IBF and IBO flyweight championship is on the line. I expect a good clean fight. Protect yourself at all times, and above all, respect my commands at all times. Let's touch him up, let's get popping. Let's get popping, says Eddie Claudio of Brooklyn. Vic Darchenian, one of the most unique and unorthodox fighters in the world, has never been dropped or hurt or even remotely threatened in the ring. Almost every punch is meant to end the fight or at least break your spirit. His left dynamite. But. In meeting with Nonito Donaire yesterday, he came across as very confident, loose, and incredibly calm. A guy who, who seemed like he already had the test questions in advance. <laughs> we'll soon find out, Al. <laughs> I like that explanation of him. Something, unfortunately, I never had. You know, no, I, I find that hard to believe. He is a taller fighter with a bigger reach. And those are the things that you always wonder, can a Darchinian, who's a fighter that comes forward, deal with? Donaire's attacking him much more than I expected right at the beginning. Darchinian, not a particularly fast starter in general. It'll be interesting to see if he, he gets right to it here. He did start unusually fast against Nonito's brother, Glenn, who incidentally told the younger Nonito that Darchinian does not hit hard, and you can see the punches coming. Darchinian's response, he was toying with Glenn that night, and didn't punch as hard as he usually does. Whoop, big left uppercut attempt there by Donaire, that bit. Two things have happened. The right hand is landing for Donaire, but the left is landing by Darchinian. But I think Nonito Donaire has made Vic Darchinian think about his power already. And a wild swing and a miss with the left by uh, Darchinian, the free-swinging Darchinian. Is being tested right out of the gate here by the younger Nonito Donaire having a, a very good start to the fight. Well, you mentioned it. You know, you said Victor Chinian's gone through an undefeated career, barely tested. I got to be honest, in the first half of round one, he's been hit more than we've seen in all the fights, and he's getting whacked by Donaire. He just got hit. That was a shot. He just got hit by a left hand by Nonito Donaire. Donaire comes out blazing here midway through the first round. Now the danger in all this is Donaire better not get too brave. His mission is to be a boxer puncher, even a, though a powerful one. Now Darchenian trying to push Donaire back. Donaire has skills, no question, straight right hand to the chest. He's versatile, he's patient, calm, and lightning fast, and he can handle pressure. He's got a lot of amateur experience. Well, in the keys to victory, one of the ones was land the right hand. Donaire's done it repeatedly to both the body and the head here in round one. Donaire really up on his toes, moving to his left, which is the correct thing to do. And another wild swing and a miss there by uh, Darchinian. And if he's not careful, he's going to be wide open for a straight right by Donaire. Now Donaire goes to the midsection. That was blocked by uh, Darchinian. A spin around move there by uh, Donaire. You know, Vic Darchinian's probably lost a few rounds along the way in his pro career, but I don't think he's ever lost one the way he's losing this one. Donaire said he's very cognizant of Darchinian's uppercut, but that straight left can really wear you down. before the bell to end the first round. Well, we don't know how long this is all going to last, but for now, Nonito Donaire is having his way with Vic Darchinian. There's the right hand landing, and even those wild punches by Donaire don't get countered by Darchinian. And it's not really just the right hand either. There's a nice left counter left took by Donaire. The trick for Donaire was to counter well as Darchinian came in, and for the most part, he has done it. 
Already after round one, the plot is thickening a bit. Excellent uh, opening round for the challenger. Nonito Donaire in the red and white, 17 and one with 10 knockouts. The champion Darcheni in the black trucks. Donaire, a huge underdog, yet he feels Darcheni has built his record on washed up fighters and guys moving up in weight. Well, at least tonight, Darcheni in there with someone who's fought mostly at flyweight and super flyweight. But remember, Darchinian regularly spars with guys much bigger than him. Darchinian 28 and 0 with 22 knockouts. Now, Darchinian told us he wanted to use his right hand a lot more in this fight. He's known primarily as a left-handed puncher. So let's see if he tries to throw the right hook and the right upper a little more against Donaire. And the reason for that, because he knows that Donaire is going to be circling to his left to try to get away from his power, the left hand. So he'll try to surprise him with the right. There it is, right there on cue. You know what I'm surprised at? And, and it's a good weapon. Oh, oh. Left hand by Donaire to the head. He is landing the jab. Donaire's also landing his left hook pretty well. And of course, that's a good weapon against the southpaw. Donaire not known for that punch. And he's had hand problems with his left, broken in his second fight as a pro, and it's been troubling him sometimes in fights since. Oh, Darchinian got nailed, and then he came back. Here's a right hand, a miss by the Donaire with the left hand. And it is really heating up here in round two. No, Nito Donaire is making this an interesting fight, but boy, he could make it too interesting for himself because there are times when he is standing in harm's way of those Dartinian big bunches. Donaire has to be extremely focused against the, the awkward, herky, jerky moves of, of uh, Vic Dartinian. <laughs> Left there by that was a seminal moment in this fight. A big left hand by Darcini and Donaire counters him with the left hook. This is really turning into an interesting fight here in round two. It's a pretty good give and take. Good two-way action here in the early going for the IBF flyweight crowd. Well, you know, the interesting thing about this is it's almost as if Darchinian has stepped up in weight because Donaire is, by trade, a 115-pounder. And so we're getting a clue of how things would go for him in the 115-pound division. Darchinian missing again with a straight left there. And Darchinian's landed some more good straight left hands in this round. He's had a better second round. I don't know if he's winning it, but it's been better. Well, he's usually a slow starter. I mean, even fights in which he, he has been highly combustible later on. Trying to push Donaire back with heavy lefts there is Darchinian, but the Donaire standing his ground, looking tough. Final seconds of round two. It, what is developing into an interesting affair. Well, as we mentioned earlier, back in October here on Showtime, Victor Chinian had his way with Nonito Donaire's older brother, Glenn. Tough outing for Glenn Donaire, down early in the fight, punished throughout until the sixth round when the fight was stopped because of a broken jaw and it ended up being a technical win for oh. Vic Darchinian. Tough Time. night for Glenn yeah. Donaire. Yeah, you can't continue. Uh, Time. Time. And Glenn Donaire with the broken jaw. There he is now, jaw healed. A very interested spectator on hand to support his kid brother. Donito says, hey, it's better to have Glenn in the seats with everybody else, not in the corner, because he just gets too nervous and hyper. And that's their dad, who, of course, is the trainer of these two young men. And where's mom? Well, Amelda Donaire is at home in California watching on TV and, according to Nonito, praying. Well, it, it, it must be working to this point because uh, young Nonito uh, faring pretty well as we enter round three. And, you know, round two, I have to say, I might have put it in Darchinian's column because of his good second half of the round. He did come back very well. And now body work by uh, Donaire. Darchinian's finding the range with the, uh, with the straight left, but I, the body work by Donaire in this round has been impressive. You can see the, the difference in height and reach uh, favoring the young challenger, Donaire. Darchinian certainly has his vulnerabilities, as you can see, uh, looping his punches, as Al pointed out earlier, the defensive lapses. But his ultra con unconventional style and his incredible power usually bail him out. And when he straightens out those lefts, the power is compounded, like just now. 
Now, now Darchinian going to the right. That was a counter left, took a moment ago by Donaire. Every time Vic Darchinian kind of rushes in, he does get countered by Donaire, and that's an issue for him. Donaire has more well-rounded skills than uh, Darchinian. Darchinian usually just looks for that one punch to end it. He's kind of undisciplined, but it, it seems to work for him. Well, you know, Vic Darchinian changes fighters when they come in the ring, and he's right. Once they've felt his power for the most part, Steve, they change. They can't use their skills. That hasn't happened yet to Nonito Donaire, but there's a good left hand by Darchinian. Oftentimes, it's difficult to stay outside box move counter uh, against Darchinian. You have to sort of get in his chest. Push him back, make it messy, hook to the body. But that's easier said than done because if you get inside and you feel his sting, it's very discouraging. Now, to Donaire's credit, he has fought this whole fight for the most part at long range, used his jab and stayed there. And Vic has managed to get the straight left hand in from time to time, but I know not as much as he would want. So far, he hasn't hurt Donaire with that punch. Donaire being extremely calm and patient here waiting for his moments the other thing donaire did a moment ago was he fainted darchinian and you saw darchinian react big oh, straight oh. left hand right on the button by vic darchinian that nailed donaire oh there's a good left hand that staggered darchinian remember he's never been hurt or dropped in his career donaire sensing the moment Darchinian battles back. Donaire marching forward. Pacing is another hard left hand to the chin by Donaire. Ironic that a left hook has been the big weapon for Donaire. Surprising. What a huge finish to round three. Good. Well, Darchinian was able to land a good straight left hand against Donaire. Now, those are the kind of punches that are supposed to make fighters not come back at you. But there's a left hook by Donaire, and that was... Um, a portent of things to come because there's a good counter left hook by Donaire that hurt Darchinian and changed that round and there would be other left hooks to follow that would also hurt Darchinian and big cut around the right eye of Darchinian. We'll see if that uh, enters in as a factor so things really getting intriguing here. This is the first time we've seen Vic Darchinian in any kind of trouble. It might be the first time he's been in trouble his entire career. And we'll see how he responds in this situation. Round four, scheduled for 12, IBF flyweight title. Darchinian's belt on the line. Darchinian's undefeated record at stake as well. You know, Darchinian's dad is here to see his fight. Only the second time he's seen his son fight as a pro. He's got to be a little nervous at this point. Tense moments for Ruben Darchinian. Uh, First trip to the United States. Owns a, owned a gas station in Armenia, and uh, he and Vic have a great relationship. And right now, he's got to be concerned for his son. A lot of concern in the Darchinian corner as well, led by trainer Billy Hussein, who's 2-0 and with Darchinian, so he's taking over from former world champion Jeff Fennick. You know what's interesting about this, too? Now, Darchinian kind of feels urgency to come forward and make things happen, but when he does, Donaire is counterpunching him so effectively. So it's a tricky situation for Vic Darchinian right now. Donaire not quite as aggressive as he was towards the end of the third round. Just tasted a straight left hand from Darchinian. Darchinian's able to get that left in, when he, especially when he uses the jab. I think Vic Darchinian has not used his jab enough in this fight, Steve. And were he using it more, it would set up that straight left hand. You'll notice uh, both eyes red and swollen on Darchinian right now. Missing wildly with a straight left is Darchinian. So the eyes are becoming a factor for Darchinian. And it's early. How will Vic Darchinian handle adversity? For the moment, it, it appears as if Donaire is letting him off the hook. Now, that right hand by Donaire was blocked by the left glove of Darchinian. Straight left hand by Darchinian to the chest, pushes Donaire back. Again, the counter left hook by Donaire. 
You know, the problem with Darchinian is when he rushes in, defense is not something he remembers much, and Donaire has been able to take advantage of it. Now, there's some roughhouse tactics by Darchinian. We talked about that before the fight. He likes to rough things up in there, but you can't do it, Steve, when your opponent, who has a big height and reach advantage, stays on the outside. Nice counter left there by Donaire. Another counter there by Darchinian. And a spin around move by Donaire. And Eddie Claudio is saying, don't do that. I kind of thought it was fun. <laughs> Works better in basketball. Yeah, it's true. Final seconds of the round. And Archidian ends it with a straight left to the chest. Back to you, Steve. Thank you very much, Jim. Boy, he made me nervous. <laughs> they are two different kinds of fighters. Glenn Donaire, a face first brawler. And Onita more of a, a tactical technician. And Donito Donaire has some physical attributes, too, that his brother doesn't have. He's taller, he's got the reach, uh, and he's a little bit bigger. And so all of that is troubling Vic Darchinian right now. Darchinian came in thinking that Nonito uh, was more of a threat, that he was better than, than Glenn, taking nothing away mm -hmm. from, from Glenn's skills. Round five underway, scheduled for 12. IBF flyweight belt on the line. The champion Darchinian in the black. Struggling a little bit with the challenger in the red. Nonito Donaire, nice shot to the you know, body there by Donaire. Exactly, Steve. And the body work Donaire's done over the first four and a half rounds could pay dividends later in the fight. Donaire thinks he'll own the later rounds. Uh, in, in his last 12-round fight, uh, Donaire against Oscar Andrade won the last three rounds dramatically to win that decision. He feels he's going to be the stronger fighter in the later rounds. And our panel of press row scores have it as a, yes, a majority draw after four rounds. I have a 39-37 as Sherman Kane does. Sherman Kane from the Manchester Journal Inquirer here in Connecticut. Martin Abrams, 15rounds.com. Jack Obermeyer from Boxing Digest. Coming up at the midway point of round five. There's the jab by Nonito Donaire at working well. Oh, my. As he lunges in, you'll see the right hand very low for Darchinian. Keeps it very low, walks into a left hook. The winner by way of technical knockout and the new IBF and IBO lightweight champion of the world, the Filipino Flash, Nonito Donaire. So guys, you just saw a young Filipino Flash going to work and i have to say he landed an impressive check hook to secure the tko victory totally amazing now at the time of the fight darchinian was 28 and oh and you could hear the commentator saying that at the beginning of the fight that darchinian had gone through his career relatively untested what i can say about this is that most of his previous fights before donaire were in his place of residence so Australia. During that time, boxing in Australia wasn't as world renowned as it is currently becoming today. However, Darchinian was a major belt champion and most of his defenses he made before the Donair fight were in the US. So he was a legit champion, but definitely needed someone like Donair to ruffle his feathers. Now guys, uh one of the things that i must say about darchinian that i just do not like is his form you know the way how he carries himself within his stance he tucks his chin in and approaches you with a slightly awkward concave torso but keeps both arms waving around and this usually means he has to react to bring his hands into a defensive position when either a punch or a feint is used by Donaire. I think because he knows he carries power in his southpaw left hand, he already prioritizes it for that purpose and defense becomes secondary. Another thing that he does that demonstrates more of a lack of training than anything else is his inability to move forward with the correct footwork that allows him 
to throw the punches he attempts to throw. This is what happens when you stand in front of a bag. Don't move your feet, but like the sound of your punches when they connect with the bag. Whenever a boxer does this, they won't land efficiently, will lose energy, and are always susceptible to counter punching. And you could see that the counter punch that landed and ended the fight was that beautiful check hook. In any case, this fight propelled Nonita Donet's career up the ladder of success put him in the spotlight as a formidable and fan-friendly boxer, but most importantly, it gave him his first major world title. Donaire's perfect check hook ended Darchinian's undefeated streak and started a chapter in his boxing career as a world champion. Donaire remained undefeated for 12 years between 2001 and 2013. This particular fight was in 2007. Nonita Donaire currently has a record of 42 wins and 8 losses. Anyway guys, that's all for now. I really hope you've enjoyed watching this video. Please remember to smash the like button if you have enjoyed watching this particular update. Remember to leave a comment in the comment section if you want to add anything about Nonito, the Filipino Flash Donaire. So until my next one, peace out.